freezers how are you guys happy friday woohoo oh my gosh can you guys believe it's almost christmas that's insane to me like this year has flown by it's absolutely flown by so anyways we have some foodie beauty community posts and then i'm gonna look for a few clips of her live stream on twitter um and then later tonight like later tonight we are gonna go live for a bit um and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm going to be giving away on new year's day so we're going to have a, um, what is it called? A giveaway. <laughs> you just have to comment after the live stream. Um, I'll say the word during the live stream to comment and um, you will be entered. So anyways, okay. The first foodie, foodie, I sound like yo mama. The first foodie boot, I can't say her name. Foodie beauty post is from an hour ago. It is edited. It says, just to give you an idea. I know I do these schedules or used to often and gave up on them, but I'm giving it one more try. So please give me another chance. See you. This is for Be Foodie Beauty Channel. Mondays, member stream. Tuesdays, tasty Tuesday food vlog. Wednesdays, member stream. Thursdays, recorded video. Fridays, open chat. Saturdays, Twitch. Sundays, member stream. My thoughts, don't get your hopes up, people. <laughs> There's no way. I'm reading that, and it sounds nice, and it sounds great. I hope she gives it a try. Um, but just don't get, don't get your hopes up. We've seen how this goes before. So this is from two hours ago. It is also edited. And it says, join us tomorrow, Beezers, around 3 or 4 p.m. Oh, okay. So here's their couple's channel. Um, oh, no, 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 this is Twitch. It's at Foodie Beauty OG. That's her new Twitch name. Husband and wife gaming together live. Syrian and Canadian couple. Thanks for being here. Marhaba. So she already has 4.8 thousand followers. Saturday Street Fighter couple gaming live on Twitch. Foodie Beauty versus El Sultan Sala. Okay, so this is from two hours ago. It says, okay. So people have been telling me to do something about it. So I reported this Twitch, this witch's Twitch for targeted harassment. We will see what they say. Oh, and more proof, no one cares about you, fried gullet. You only have 3.9 thousand on Twitch, and I don't even use Twitch and have 1,000 more. Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> so it shows the screenshot that she reported, I'm assuming FFG, that has 42 likes. Why does she do these rants, though, and turn comments off? I will never understand that. Okay, so this is from two hours ago. Uh, apparently, she's going off again. Wait, wait, wait. French fried gullet. You are actually going to flex that my streams, which are 100% about me, can't even break 1K. Meanwhile, that you still only have 22K subs, which you have had for a while, dot, dot. Enjoy your hate views, moron, because without spreading hate and lies about me and my content, you have nothing. But that won't be for long. You have peaked on YouTube. 22,000 subs for the views you get doesn't add up, which means no one gives a crap about you as a creator. Only how vile and hateful you are, which is beyond sad. No one is subbing to you, only watching the streams about me, lol. So yes, barely 1,000 views talking about non-drama is normal. Stream about anyone else like the Doherty Dozen, LMAO, and you get way less. So you still owe me, biatch. Your time is almost up. I hope you buy a house because you will have to get off your lazy, smoky butt and get a job to pay for it, lol. I hear Motel Adam has a vacancy right up your alley. So what I got from this is she's mad FFG is covering other people. <laughs> That's what I got. Okay, and she's showing screenshots trying to prove something here. See, this is what it's about, that people are covering other other people. We're reacting to other people, other channels. Um, you know, that's what, I don't know. Oh, here we go. And this is from four hours ago, edited. Merry Christmas, some quality and dust content. And then whatever that means. Do you guys know what that means? Okay. Well, that was interesting. Like I said, I don't understand why she rages just to turn comments off. Like, I don't know if you're going to talk crap and you're going to run your mouth. You should probably stand by it and not turn comments off. Anyways, I'm going to go look for clips right now. I know she's live. Um, 
So I'm going to see if I can find clips. If not, I guess we will give her the direct view just to see what's going on. I feel like we hardly cover her anymore on here. Um, and the live stream we do later won't be about her. So, hmm. I'm going to go see what I could find. See you guys soon. Hey, you guys. So I am finding clips. Thank you for everybody who clips these and puts them on Twitter. So um, Tofu Alpaca said, I asked if Pete's had to find his own place when she gets back to Canada. And she said no. I thought Sala said they may not live together. I thought she said that he did, that Pete's did have to move. So let's see what she has to say. Does Pete's have to find his place for the time he Hold on. Does Pete's have to find his own place for the time he back? No, Tofu. So what I'm taking from just that simple thing, maybe Pete's gets to stay, but she's not going to be supporting Pete's anymore. Um, what do you guys think? Okay, this next clip is from Hidden Truths. What does he know? Like he is hiding something. Crashes. Let's start it over. If, like I said, like if if her YouTube channel just crashes. Mm -hmm. Um. Then you know how is rent how's rent gonna be made? And like oh, we'll just just what him. I would stop depending on Chantel and start supporting yourself. That's what I would do. You got a job. But it's still the same problem. Like, even once I get a job, it's still going if. So, oh no. Do, are you guys getting the same vibe? I think Pete still expects to be supported by Chantel. Like, at some point, you got to grow up. Like, if you're not making enough from YouTube, which you've been going a lot live lately. Like, why don't you get a side job so that way you can afford your rent and you can stay there and you don't have to depend on anybody else. All right, I'm looking for more clips. Off we go. Okay, so we're going to watch another clip from Pete's. It's by Hidden Truths at It's True 2021. It says, hashtag foodie beauty. I thought Chantel paid everything and rent. Why is Leeds stressed about paying rent? That means she stopped supporting him because of Sala. He knows she's not coming back because Asala won't allow her to live with him. She stopped giving him financial support. Let's watch this clip. If her YouTube channel... Okay. You know, oh, we watched this one. About whether I'll have enough money to make rent two months from now. You know? Yeah, I've got this month's rent pay. You know, okay. This month I'm good. But a couple months from now, who knows? If, you know, if YouTube... So this is the whole clip. We just didn't see the whole thing. If the uh, bottom falls out of YouTube, like your roommate paid rent. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's someone said I thought your roommate paid rent. But like I said, like if, like I said, like if. What? If her YouTube channel just crashes. Um. Then, you know, how rent, how's rent going to be made? And like, it, I think if I've learned anything, like everybody should always have a backup plan. Um, if you're stressed out about it and yeah, I mean, her channel could get banned. It could get terminated. You never know. What would you guys do? So it's probably a good idea, Pete's, you know, to stop expecting Chantal to pay for everything and it's it's a, a it would be a really good idea probably for you to get another job like a second job or stream more i don't know well, well just just why don't you get a job but it's still the same problem like even once i get a job it's still going to be the same problem then you need to move to somewhere where your the rent isn't so high where it's more affordable like li don't live beyond your means if you can't afford the rent there I would start looking for a place you can't afford. Where like, you know, I got shit to pay. You know, it's one of those things where when you're, when you are low income, mm -hmm. um, that's the thing. So when you are Love. Rebecca Jones said, Pete, you realize literally every human being has this, this experience and it's not exclusively you. Low oh, income. Well, yeah, Rebecca, I do know. Are you sure? People were asking like what I'm straight like, and you know what, Rebecca? 
Most people stress about this shit, Rebecca. Oh, we even got a mini rage there. All right, I'm snooping some more. Let's see what else we find. Wait, thumbnail, woo, who? Okay. Okay, you guys, I couldn't really find that many foodie beauty clips, so I'm happy to see other people are talking about other things. We have to end the video on this. So Kristen at Steph K said, shared a clip um, of, Yo, of Yabba on Yo Mama's Live, and it says, you know what, YouTube underground 23 you're never living this down right wait till you hear what yabba has to say I'm not. hold on you don't want to miss this if i didn't have my woman here i'm i ain't even gonna lie maybe i'd ho holler at chantel i'm not yeah i'm not I mean, yabba, I wow if i didn't have my woman here i'm i ain't even gonna lie maybe i'd ho holler at chantel i am not yeah oh I'm my not. gosh what do you guys what think yabba. of that what do you think of that okay let's talk about this in the comment section see you guys soon see you when we go live later bye